Coulomb's law states that the magnitude of the electrostatic force exerted by one point charge on another is directly proportional to the product of the magnitudes of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. So what this tells us is for two objects that are separated by a certain distance, there is going to be an electrostatic force that exists between them and that force is directly proportional to the magnitude of those charges, basically saying that the bigger the charges are, the bigger the forces are, which shows on that force versus magnitude or product of charges graph. What it also says is that it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these objects, basically saying that the further apart these objects are or become, the smaller the force gets, and it is an inverse proportion, meaning that that changes exponentially and then finally what we can see is what's called the inverse square law is the relationship between force and one over the distance between their centers squared and we see that that is a direct proportion this can also these graphs can also be written as force is directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of the charges and it is also directly proportional to the inverse square law one over the distance between their centers squared and in order to convert that into our Coulomb's law equation, all that we need to do is add a constant. That constant here is K, and that tells us that the force between two charged objects is equal to the product of their charges multiplied by K divided by the distance between their centers squared, where K is a universal constant of 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. So we can now use this formula to calculate the force that exists between these two charged objects, starting with Coulomb's law, which tells us f is equal to kq1 q2 over r squared. k is given to us and is a constant of 9 times 10 to the 9. q1 is 3 coulombs, q2 is 5 coulombs, and the distance between them is 2, and that must be squared. And that tells us that the force between these two objects is 3.375 times 10 to the power of 10 newtons. Now we know that this force is a vector, which means that it must have direction. And the direction is determined by the sign of these charges. Here we can see that these two objects are oppositely charged, which means that this force would be toward each other. Obviously, if the objects have like charges, the force would be away from each other. And then something that commonly confuses people is that sometimes you would be asked to determine the force that B exerts on A, in which case the magnitude would remain the same. But in this case, B is pulling A towards the right. So there you would write the force that exists by B on A would be 3.375 times 10 to the power of 10 newtons, and that is then towards B. And similarly, if asked to calculate the force that A exerts on B, it would be the same magnitude by Newton's third law, 3.375 times 10 to the 10 newtons, except that now that force would be towards a. So it's important to pay attention to how the question is asked. If the question is, what is the force between these two objects? It would either be toward each other or away from each other. If the force is, what force is B exerting on A? Then we would say that the force is towards A, or, sorry, towards B or away from B. And if the force asks, what is the force that A exerts on B? We would then state that it is either towards A or away from A.